a roaming band of students, some wielding bats, went in search of a creepy clown rumored to be lurking around the campus. Hello everyone, Highway 20 Rider here, and I am here with Gamer666, Lil Sooner fan, fan NMO, and Lizzie. And, well, it's been about five months since the end of Volume 4, and we finally have our first bit of Volume 5 content to talk about. Yay. And, yep. I mean, it's not much, it's just a little character trailer for Weiss, but it does show a little bit of what we'll probably we see We had a big-ass discussion about, like, little tidbits of the first character short, so, I mean... True. I mean, it's... and there's certainly enough to talk about. Yeah, well, I mean, Lizzie wanted to do this now because if she didn't, she was going to explode. So, Lizzie, why don't you start today? Why? I... Okay. Um. So, what I first wanted to say, I was so confused that she was so bad at fighting. <laughs> well, this was. The... was. I guess this is her training, right? Then, I mean, then you realize she doesn't have the scar, which means it's. Before, before you the start the series, yeah. oh, I didn't even I, I, notice that. I didn't even notice yeah, if that. you if you look when she first looks over her shoulder, she doesn't have the scar over her left eye from the giant armor fight. Yes. Well, okay I, then. I didn't notice that. I only noticed that it's a flashback when it was at the end. But that was the first thing she fought really weird. She was still pretty good for being a newbie, though. Yeah, I mean, I suppose it does explain some of the awkwardness in places with the animation, but I, yeah, I'm willing to chalk that up to inexperience on Weiss's part, and the anime is not really being used to drawing, animating uh, Weiss's fighting style in the new program. Yes, I think it uh, it looked a bit like cut. Her movements were like really sharp and cut, and so it was really weird to look at. I don't yeah. know. I thought it was I mean, looking kind of good. But her movements have yeah. always been kind of sharp and crisp, but not in this way. They seem more jerky in this one than smooth and elegant. You should find an instance in the video that I can use to uh, show that, because I honestly thought all of it looked pretty good. Um, let's see here. There's the, well, the main yeah, place I, I think... see her whenever she strikes a pose. <laughs> she uh, strikes a pose? She strikes multiple <laughs> poses. This is yeah. Weiss we're talking about. <laughs> I Her think style is basically ballet with swords. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. so poses. the kick-ass ballet. Yes. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I will say, I will say that one, that one like wide shot when she was going back and forth, jumping around on her glyphs and taking Grim out left and right. That that was really good. I like that. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I that that I was do, real smooth. I do like the whole fight, and that's just. Ruby just likes doing good fights, really. Hey, I know it's um, saying obvious, but... Real quick, Sooner, what was that noise you just made? You were like... Real smooth. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Never mind. I might have been a groan, but I'm not completely... <laughs> yeah, I might have been a groan. What I wanted to say... Anyway. One thing. I think sometimes her poses seemed really awkward, but I think that's because it's... Uh, I think that was made on purpose. So Any training video. Yes. It could be. The only like awkward fight, that at least I think, is like the first fight of Volume Four. It's like looking back, there's like nothing particularly memorable about it for me. The one against the Geist. Yeah. The only thing yeah. that I can remember off the top of my head is Zhang King hitting the balls. That's the only thing I fucking remember. <laughs> yes, that's true. I remember a lot. Just of like, it. I've watched it a few times. It's just yeah, like, there's it's, nothing- It's not the best fight in the volume, certainly. Yeah, there's like none of that usual ruby flair for me. Well, yeah, then again, same. it's also- This is also after Monty, so it's not not ever gonna be the same kind of fighting that we saw in the first three volumes. Yeah, it's like, I don't expect don't have it to- Monty anymore. Yeah, but, it's like, I don't expect the quality of fights to drop. Or, I do expect them yeah. to drop, but I don't expect them to drop completely. Well, yeah, I mean, though, I will give I noticed, them credit. though, is like, when, like, like, Ruby's scythe used to be, like, fucking firing off, like, a bullet every, like, five seconds to, like, propel strikes and stuff, but that doesn't happen anymore, and that's a little upsetting, but, like, cause well, that was, it like, could also be that do it really well. Well, it could also be that she's stronger and more proficient with it and doesn't rely on it as much anymore. But it was so cool, Highway! 
Also, it wastes ammo like crazy. But, <laughs> oh, oh, but oh, honestly, you want to talk about ammo? You want to talk about ammo? You want to talk about oh, ammo? Yeah. All right, let's talk about <laughs> that mean, little fucking... Let's talk about ammo. that little fucking oh, peanut brittle ass fucking size clip that she uses firing off like 400 rounds in the fucking trailer before deciding it's time to reload and put a special clip in there. Do you know how hard it would be to cram that many bullets into that little fucking Dr. Pepper can? But, Literally impossible. Um, Literally but we impossible. are not talking about uh, uh, bullets, we are talking about dust. But yeah, the thing is, I'm, yeah, well, well, the bullets are physical, they're imbued with dust, assumably. Unless it's some weird thing where the canister is actually filled with dust and it somehow converts it to a physical form, like a bullet, but that, that's really weird. We don't that know makes how that zero would work. sense, and I'm going exactly. to go ahead and rule that out right so, now. So it's like, exactly. so it's like, dust somehow like makes bullets as it leaves that makes what I what mean, what is that what yeah, do you mean that's is the that thing. we've never started seeing dust do anything but, like that but, no 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 oh, but um, I, suppose, no, I suppose if you use the uh, earth if you use like earth based dust or if there's some sort of metal based dust dust out there i mean think back to or ice or anything because those have been shown to be able to, to create a physical entity see uh blake's little shadow ability ice a uh, weiss's ice creations no, so they can make physical objects, but I don't know how that you would be know, in rows. Earth, you, Earth you know does, it was. I can, I can, I can buy shut up. Everyone, let Lizzie talk. Let Lizzie talk. Um, you know that in um, World of Remnant, it was said that the bullets work with dust. You know. Yeah, dust munitions, but that's assumably a regular bullet, either using dust as a propellant or enhancing the bullet without. You know what else works effects. with dust? This fucking jar of peanuts that I have on my desk, but it's still got peanuts in it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's like earth dust, like you know, forming bullets out of leaves. I can sort of buy that. I kind of I mean, doubt probably be iron or steel brittle. dust exists. I really doubt that. I mean, there are there are uh, fusions of dust out there. We don't know all the possibilities there. The only real kind of like dust fusion type things we know of are uh, steam and ice, really. But... Yeah, I guess. Wait, steam dust is a thing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why does nobody know that? I, I, I think, yeah, it seems that nobody knows that. I can look it up really quickly, which we know. Yeah, when, when was that? Like, was that like and in a, We have that we're no idea where over. the crap uh, gravity fits and all that. That's actually a thing. <laughs> gravity! Yeah, thanks to Chibi, we know that's gravity. a thing. Gravity! So, I don't know where that fits into it. <laughs> so, we have um, wind, fire, water, lightning, ice, steam, gravity, earth, and the bright orange colored. Nobody knows what that is. Bright orange unidentified. color? <laughs> Which is unidentified. <laughs> So Yang's arm? Uh, <laughs> no, Yang's no. arm's yellow and black. Uh, Whoa, that lag. Oh, the... What the... And the volcanic... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> that lag is terrible. Skype. Usually it's me. Yeah, God damn like... it, Lizzie's taking my job with the lag too. Like fuck. She's <laughs> taking all our jobs. God damn I'm it, sorry, Lizzie. Sorry, that's I, I I really have bad internet. Yeah, I always tell her internet's poopy. <laughs> yeah. Also, the only one of us in a completely different country. So there's that. Well, there's Wicked. Yeah. Well, yeah, but he's almost never in a discussion. Um, change that to never, okay? The only time he's actually appeared was the one video we introduced him in. That's the only time we've yeah, and he like fucking he absolutely refuses to do anything else. Like I even pestered him about it. He's like, why should I have to do anything else other than AMVs? It's like, bro, you have to do everything, okay? You're not so, like he, he does pump out the AMVs. So yes, you know, but he, he does at least contribute. He's got to participate in the in the fucking discussions, like. Uh... <sighs> Yeah, whatever. It's infuriating. I mean, as long as he's as long as he's continuing to make content, I'm fine with it. These peanuts are so fucking good. How about we get back to the topic? Yeah, yeah this she, is a, this is a norm. <laughs> so right now yeah, she's taking norm, my right? job of getting us back on track. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it, it's, it's nice to have somebody else somebody else actually willing to get things back on track. Well, I usually <laughs> want to, but I also like these peanuts, so... 
You also <laughs> randomly stop at random intervals just to Shut say up! random shit. <laughs> okay, you, then moving on. I was like Lizzie and her German Tourette's. I do not have German Tourette's. <laughs> uh, you did when I met you. What? No! <laughs> I never had! You always well, you told did. me, I'd be oh, curse at that person in German. Oh, insult that person. No, I'd say uh. something to you, and then you'd, like, drop something, and then you just go on a rant in German, and I'm like, what the fuck are you saying? Ah, uh, I remember. Yeah, German Tourette's, I'm telling you. <laughs> but that was not insults or something like that. They were just well, I, normal I... <laughs> speaking. There's no way I could have known that, so... <sighs> anyway. Alright then, speaking of animation, can I just say that, for the most part, the animation looks even better than it was in Volume 4? That's yes. what I thought, but like... Uh, I don't know, you guys I are mean, confusing me. It's either well, worse or it's better. No, I'm not saying it's worse, I'm saying there were a few places where it was kind of janky. But overall, with the particle effects and the lighting, it looked yeah. a lot better. I, fe a I lot feel like better. everything ran smoother. The volume four did. I even uh, took smooth. I even took uh, two pictures of Weiss on that freaking cargo ship and compared them, and the one we got now is way freaking better. <laughs> well, you uh... have to show me, and I'll put them side by side. All right, I'll, send uh... them to me later. Even though we didn't really I'll, uh, see send it in this, to you and Amino. even though we didn't really see it in this um in this short, um I think and I hope that the walking animations got better. So yeah. the walking animations. Walking animations, what? Yes, they were really sloppy in the last chapter. Yeah, some uh, of them volume. were real weird. Oh god, I have a feeling we're going right back to a doorknob esque fiasco. No, no, <laughs> the no. Doorknob. The doorknob. The doorknob is the best part of the volume four, okay? Hey, yeah, but if I feel, we can I get feel the like the entirety like... of the animation to be as good as that doorknob is gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I feel like that if the walking animations are, like, really good, I feel like freaking Axel's gonna come back and say walking animations are easily the best thing out of the whole fucking volume. <laughs> That's gonna fucking happen, just watch. Yeah. I'm calling it right now. Who knows? No, it's probably gonna be, like, something shiny. <laughs> shiny and reflective. Because shiny things are nice to look You wanna know my favorite part of Chibi is? What? Yeah. I like, honestly, this isn't, like, I don't know if this is stupid or not. I mean, I think it's kind of cool. I like, I just like how the 3D weapons look. Like, yes. for instance, when um, Blake throws her little gun. I like how it just looks, like, really, like, three-dimensional. Like, you could actually pick it up. It's really cool. Yes. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Why am I eating peanuts during a discussion? Fuck off. I don't know. Why are you? No, I These want peanuts. So <laughs> now I'm hungry and I want peanuts, but I can't get some. You don't like peanuts. I like peanuts. Peanuts are meh for me. Shut up. You love nuts in your mouth. <laughs> that sounded horribly what? wrong. That was supposed to. That's the point. <laughs> That's the point. That was horrible. That's the point, dude. Oh, that was okay. awful. Um, I have one question about the topic we were uh, previously talking <laughs> that about. That we should be talking about? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, um, Thank you. what is that place? The place? Uh, I assume oh, it's I somewhere in the Schnee Manor or somewhere in Atlas. I'm, I'm gonna say it's maybe... Ah. I mean, considering there was a giant statue with the Schnee family crest on it, I'm going to assume it was probably somewhere in their mansion. Ice Crown Citadel. Sure. <laughs> Lizzie, you'll know what that is later. Jacques, Jacques is the Lich King, confirmed. <laughs> fucking Lich King. Surely. All his servants and even fucking Klein are an army of undead. <laughs> Good the God. What was that? Say. What is that noise? Yes, it's annoying. It's not me. I, I bet it's you. <laughs> I've it's always you. It's always you. Uh, and yeah. people wonder why I usually stay away from people. You don't stay away from us. Yeah, because, well, to be fair, you're all, like, funny to actually, like, listen to and shit. 
fucking cunt. Also, the fact that we're all losers, so we kind of belong together. <laughs> I guess that too. <laughs> uh, what the hell? How does this happen? My keys are all like fucked up. <laughs> oh wait, okay, I fixed it. All right. So yeah, one thing I have I have to uh, just kind of bring up is why is Weiss remembering this particular memory on the cargo ship? Honestly. I don't know, because probably, dreams. I mean, probably because a winter said right at the end there, like the whole, uh, I'm not always going to be there to protect you, and she is going to find winter after all, and she just, well, now she really is on her own. So, I assume like, it has something to do with that. Was was Weiss going to winter, or was she going? Yeah, she's going to winter. She's going yeah, to winter. Yeah, they said, uh, last we saw winter, she was somewhere in Mistral. Oh. Or so that's so that's assumably where Weiss is going to be going. So uh, what I wondered were those uh, like special ice cream or were they even created by Winter? Yeah, I those were those winter. were summoned by Winter. Yeah, definitely. I could have guessed that, but the question is, was Winter training her, testing her, or what was the reason? I assume she was training her. Yes. I mean, nobody else in her family is a huntress, so... No, I'd call that to. sibling rivalry. And we know she, well, one, she wasn't mm. old enough to go to Atlas at that point, neither did she want to, so... I... But I wouldn't call it rivalry, uh, rivalry. I think, um, Winter <laughs> just wanted... I can't talk for another, shut up. Um, I, th I think Winter just wanted, uh, Wise to get stronger so she can go away. That's yeah, why... I because the way she said it, it seemed like at this point she already knew that Weiss wanted to leave. I so I assume I... she's training her and helping her, you know, reach that point so that she could. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure she's just fighting Weiss over who's daddy's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> also, it kind of makes sense with uh, her little critiques of her fighting style back in Volume 3. If she was a mentor, that would make a lot, lot of sense. Yes. Oh, brutal. But I wouldn't say it's really that Winter wanted to be um, Daddy's favorite, because a uh, wise <laughs> we was already know that. <laughs> we yes, already know I... that Winter is not her his favorite. <laughs> we also know that Weiss isn't the favorite either. Yes, but that is in the future. I think that um, um, that actually Weiss was already the harvest. What a dank meme. Well, yeah, it seemed that well. At this point, Winter is already a Huntress, probably still with the Special Forces, uh, with the whole Atlas and everything. And we know that Jock really did not approve that decision to be a Huntress, so I'm assuming at this point she's already fallen out of favor with her father. Well, Jock's mm. a fucking cunt. True. Yeah, so why are we even talking about him? <laughs> so is Whitley, but that's beside the point, because this is about Weiss. No, yes. Whit Whitley, Whitley's just a douchebag, but he's a douchebag. You know what, let's make it about Whitley. If he existed. Whit Whitley, I think Whitley is worse than his father, but he doesn't have the power yet to uh, be like his father. I believe that in future, Jack will actually change, and Whitley will Jack. be the evil one. Jack. That would be kind of nice Stop. for Weiss's character to vote. Jack did. So, I mean, her main enemy is her father, so it would be kind of interesting to have that aspect be taken away and to focus on Whitley instead. You know what I don't mm. understand? Oh, you know what I don't understand? Why does she just stab that cunt? <laughs> because it's her because, fucking brother. Because, yeah, it's still family and so? that would be murder. <laughs> plus, plus Rooster T needs him for later. Oh, yeah. Yes. Fuck you, Rooster T. <laughs> Fuck you, <Yeah>. stinker. <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, understand anybody that likes Whitley. Yeah, that's no. just my opinion. Petey likes Whitley. Whitley sucks. Whitley sucks. Petey likes Whitley just because he's a cunt. It's like at first I kind of suspected he was kind of a douche the way yes. he was talking in episode two, but I also was kind of seeing like you know maybe I could like this guy, but then it's like maybe maybe that's no. wrong. Maybe this guy is like possibly a good character, but nope. No, no. Nope. I... Camera, he actually scared the fuck. You out have to of kick me. that at the initiations. I, I actually I think... didn't really like that moment too much because it seemed a bit too much like, oh, this guy's evil, guys. Look at how evil he is. <laughs> yes, I, I think I think it's just like from the beginning on, he seemed mischievous. It was I think it was clear from the beginning that he's not cool. Yeah. 
I do still kind of wish in that one scene where he was like glaring at the camera, they just kind of kept it as a almost kind of cocky, shit eating grin kind of thing, as he said. You know, it's <laughs> foolish not to do what father says. <laughs> Instead of on just glaring at the camera, being like, I am evil. It's a good thing that he's actually a sociopath. Oh my god, I just, <laughs> yeah. I just, I, I, I have an idea. He's going to be. Contains peanuts and soy, may contain traces of milk, eggs, almond, Brazil nuts, what? cashews, coconuts. What? Stop! Oh, what? fuck. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucker. It's like, it's like, oh, I have idea. an idea about <laughs> Let me, re let me read about allergy warnings on peanuts. How about no, we no, just no, no, no. talk can, about can things that about do that not have minute. anything about the topic? <laughs> can we talk about that for a minute? He went from he had an idea to reading on peanut nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this oh, is the about part for the course for our discussions. <laughs> no, but anyway, uh. I actually had an idea. It, um, I mean, it's not like it's not. It's kind of real, but it's kind of not. I feel like he's going to be like one of those. Like, I mean, if the headmaster of uh, one of the academies is working with Salem's dudes, and I mean, I think Whitley could be in that category too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Definitely. although. I mean, Ironwood is still in the way in Atlas. Well, Ironwood's a cunt, so, I mean, <laughs> no. who cares? No, Ironwood's no. Shown to be... Ironwood's proved himself. More yes, or less. I think He's Ironwood... Right. He's Ironwood... Right. I... Ironwood is alright. Like, that right. first, I... back in Volume 2, I was like, oh, this guy's... Is this guy a villain? He seems like he's gonna be a villain, but no, he proved himself, so... Yeah, you know. I don't know. I... Ironwood's, like, you know... Ironwood, I thought he was extra, just gonna citric be acid, that acid, natural acid. flavor, salt, sodium, citrate, monopotassium, Shut phosphate, medium. <laughs> when I first saw Ironwood, I was like, I was thinking, oh god, we're gonna have some like edgy anti-hero or some shit. I don't know, he's kind of there. No. I but it's like just... after, it's like after he proved himself, like okay, maybe I was wrong. Actually, he just had a difference of opinion. I, I, I... When I first, uh, like, he was introduced, and I thought, like, yeah, that guy's okay. Then suddenly they made him out that everybody thinks he's a villain. And then he got proven. And I think afterwards he was actually really cool. If your opponent has any because... best Pokemon, choose oh, yeah, one of them and switch it with the defending Pokemon. No. Okay. Yeah, because it's like, how Iron, it's like how Ospen said, uh, freak, or uh, how Glinda said, it was like, um... Uh, Iron every situation is so. a contest of measuring. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Great. I still love that line. Context of measuring chickens. Why must everything what? be a triumphant display of military bravado? Yeah, it's pretty much how Iron would wanted to handle it. And Everything's I, I, a triumphant display of I mean, peanut Iron sugar, was, honey, vegetable I mean, oil, and other things. I mean, you can kind of see Ironwood's point is like, okay, we know where a threat is. Let's go in there and take it the fuck out. But mm -hmm. you know, Ospin also has a point where we have no idea what the crap we're dealing with, especially if now that we know that Ospin's a lot older than he says he is and has gone through probably a lot of reincarnations and probably knows the most about the situation. So. Well, Glenda did ah! say that Ospin has experience that the rest of them lack. No. So, so I, I imagine I have, he's been through a I, lot of shit. So. First thing, he didn't tell us his age. First thing. Um, I know, I'm just saying, assumably, <laughs> considering he just reincarnated into Oscar, and it's a, and it's implied that it's happened to Os Ospin mm -hmm. himself before, so that implies he's been a lot, been seen a lot of shit, and he's a lot older than he's letting just on. Just know he's legal, that's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, stinker! One, one so, question is, um, did Ospin really just reincarnate his the same soul, or when this when Oscar gets older, that will Ospin um, die Take with over. Oscar's body, and Oscar will be the next Ospin that travels on. Yeah, the way he the way he Ospin described it is that he was like, you know, it happened to me. So it seems like it would pass down to Oscar, and Oscar would be the yeah. one to move on. Yeah, I think I so mean, too. I mean, assumably the one before Ospin would be the great hero King of Vale from the Great War, just because. Well, one, he's holding the staff in the World of Remnant video. Also, ah! he's described as Ospin's predecessor. So, yes. I'd assume that, you know, after a while, Ospin will kind of fade out and Oscar will move on going, yes. going forward. Well, here, here's the thing. I don't, I don't know if this plays any real rev revelance, but they said that their souls 
are kind of mixed. So that to me says like, uh, Austin will probably live in Oscar's head for as long as Oscar yeah. is alive. Or it could be like, you know, for now, Ozpin is probably kind of guiding him and teaching him, but after a while, I mean, he still is a part of Oscar's and he still retains his memories and thoughts, but he's no longer, you know, prominent anymore. And it's just Oscar with all the things that Ozpin and all the previous versions of, assumably, the wizard have taught him. Or, so, okay. or like, um, um, like, Ozpin still has the the voice of the his predecessor in his brain but oscar only has ospen so yeah is it it's hard to say i mean it could be that after a while the voice kind of goes silent once he feels like you know he's ready he's learned enough you don't really need me anymore it's time to stand on your own but he still you know retains his memories and thoughts just not a, the whole prominent second conscious you know guiding me kind of thing going on is this an existent theory uh, probably. <laughs> I don't know. Everything is like... a theory. Yeah. I love how we go from Weiss's character short to a fucking theory about Oscar. Yeah. What happened? I was over there Welcome calling Sticker to the a discussions. cunt. <laughs> and then, like, I come back, and then you guys are talking about Oscar. I'm like, what the hell? I call, I call Stinker a cunt for three seconds, well, and then you... Well, let's see here. We were talking about Weiss, and we were talking about Winter, then we were talking about Jacques and Whitley, then we were talking about Ironwood, which then went to Austin, which then went to Oscar. Yeah, this is why our discussions <laughs> take so long. Yeah, I mean, th come on, this is like a two minute long video and it, we've already been recording for at minutes, least actually. a good, <laughs> good 15 Yes, because minutes. we always go off topic. Yep. How would you know? This is your first <laughs> Nothing discussion. Has, but she's also watched videos in the past, probably. Yes. I did. I mean, it's pretty much the status quo. It goes the same way every single time. Phoenix closures. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's get back to Weiss. <laughs> yes. Okay. What else is Alrighty there? then. Lizzie, did you have anything else you wanted to say about Weiss? Yes. Um, about her character. About how she's shown, because <laughs> I think she's actually shown to be like she was in the past. Like, this cocky behavior. So she's, she's really shown to have that. And with one post, for example, she was like, yeah, I beat all of them, and then suddenly more women were Immediately there. gets the shit kicked out of her. Yes. <laughs> She's like, like, oh, I can handle all these on my own. I'm strong, but then, you know, it's... Yeah, I, I it's not think, right I think she always also remembered that um, moment because she reflected it on herself and maybe thought a bit about her old behavior that she was too cocky and therefore got beat up by Grimm. And her dad. Yeah. And it could, it's also you know, shown that her cockiness kind of stems from her feeling she has to prove herself. Which her uh, in part is, which in part is, you know, related to her basically saying, fuck you, dad, but also to try <laughs> to live up to Winter. And her dad. And her dad. But anyway, so now she is going to uh. find Winter, so I assume all those memories are coming up, especially since... <laughs> She basically just had everything taken away from her, and she's all alone at this point, so she's probably feeling helpless and, and her all dad. that crap, just like in her... Stop memories. saying that. <laughs> that, was, that was actually also shown in the song which played. I remember oh, yeah. that, that one single line, Mira, help me. Mira, help me, cool. who am I? I like yeah, it. The, yes. the last lyrics of the song. Highway, I actually do not start. Lyrics. Don't, 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 don't. Don't, what, do you don't. not want to analyze the song in the in relation to Weiss's song progression? Of course, Why don't I? Want, I, I want how about how about you um send me those lyrics, okay? I'll put them up on screen and we can just talk about it, so I don't have to listen to you be cringy for five. Do minutes. you do you know all the lyrics? No, but we can figure <laughs> it out. I mean, I could just so listen to you guys. I, just, I could just listen I, to why you don't guys. I just read it out for you. Yeah. Oh God! I have the entire thing written out right here. You I'm can scared. read them. I'm I'm pro. I'm, I'm pro just, reading. Because <gasps> especially since when you look at Weiss's songs in particular, they're some of the only songs that actually show character mm. development within the songs, from mm. song to song. So I think especially you know the Weiss songs are really fun to kind of analyze. Mm. Yes, that's true. As opposed to, like, say, uh, Yang, where it's basically kind of different aspects of her character, and the only one that kind of shows development would be Armed and Ready. But, anyways. When are we getting the Volume 5 soundtrack? 
Yay, probably sometime in May next year. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to listen to that song without piping noises. Yeah, I'm and sure that's also a thing of clean some of the yeah, some of the words and lines are kinda hard to make out because fight noises. <laughs> Though, though I'm also really um, curi curious about um, the Terrible. next intro for Volume 5 because they're also really important lyrics, so, so, uh, always. Oh, yeah. Woo! I imagine. Yeah, I like, I'd imagine maybe like a week, like maybe two or three weeks before the volume like actually drops for anybody, they'll probably um, give us the intro. The way they did yes. it last time was a week. So, yeah, and I, I, I know I particularly if they do that, I'm going to wait till the actual episode just because I kind of like experiencing the whole thing first. Phone, shut ring, up! Ring, 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 <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Phone, shut up! We never that's use me. the home phone. That's Get me out. calling you about peanut ingredients. Leave a message after the tone. Beep. <laughs> you done? Okay. Is it done? Okay. We, we good, fam? <laughs> Jeez. But yeah. Who has a landline anymore? Me? My mom. <laughs> and probably, and Lizzie. And the funny thing is, we never give that number out, so the only reason it's here is for the frickin' internet. <laughs> and just in case our cell phones crap out on us. Yeah. Which they have like... done in the past. You know what's great about landlines, though? You can use them in the case of inclement weather. I mean, as long as you have power. No, I can use it without power. Well, that's because some of them at least have a little bit of a battery, but they don't yeah, tend yeah, to last very long. Poor they don't tend to last very long, I so if it's out for more than a day, then you're kind of screwed. <laughs> Me. I like think that one our, time... ours, ours last actually really long. Plus, we also use, use it very often. So, Lucky yeah. <laughs> Anyways, song. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm gonna go in the other room while you uh, do that. Okay. Hey, have fun missing out on the lyrics and being completely lost in the analysis. <laughs> okay, yeah, fuck hey, I'll that. still be here. I'll, I'll still try to at least kind of keep up. Yes. <laughs> hey, I said try. Uh, I never said succeed. Analyzing text is really important. Yeah, alright. You learn stuff like that in school, fuckers. <laughs> True. So, so yeah. <laughs> all right. So, so first of all, the song is kind of divided up into three little distinct parts. You know, the first part, the slow part at the beginning, then the faster part in the uh, fight scene, and then the last part, which is getting the shit kicked out of her. <laughs> so, okay. the lyrics. Really cool. Yeah, they do, and the tone kind of changes as it goes. I mean, the whole thing is still kind of sad to read, but the way she sings and the music behind it changes depending on what's going on in the fight. So, I thought that was pretty neat. Mm -hmm. uh, what I wanted to add, um, in the end, there was also her Mirror Mirror, like the original song, before yeah, it changes. She, she, does, she does say, me yeah, the whole... No, no, no. <laughs> In the end, it's not it's not sung, but just the melody when it yeah, changes the little, to her. Yeah, the little piano melody. Yeah, sitting in the cargo. With a bit of an added kind of harmony mm -hmm. flair to it. But yeah, that, that was a really nice callback, so that bring, it brings question, is this Mirror Mirror Part 3 or not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, still, I'm still hoping it is Part 3. I'm it, for it, it could be. It very well could be. Yes. But there's also a chance that just like this life is mine, they just talk about the mirror, and it's not actually a mirror mirror song. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> anyway, I guess also right. this makes also this makes four out of five Weiss songs that talk about the mirror. Though it would it would make sense um, if it was a mirror mirror song because. Because of the last line saying, Mirror, help me, she's directly talking to the mirror. Yeah, she specifically references the mirror three times in this song, all of them in that last bit when she's getting the shit kicked out of her. Mm. Yeah. So, how was the lyrics? Or at least what we can make out of them.
by the way. Um, this oh, is strange. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> what happened? My dad called me. My dad called me. He's in, uh. it didn't go through, so he's probably gonna call me again in a few seconds. Cunt's done in here yet? No. Not Still even close. Late. I don't think. <laughs> Why is it silent? Because we were waiting for Highway. And I guess he's dead, that's the column. What happened? We were, we were waiting for Highway to come back to read the lyrics because his dad called him. In between, we also talked about the little mirror mirror part which played in the end when it changed to the cargo scene. Do you have anything to say about that? Nah. Nah. I like Come song, on, I'm... that's all I can say. Yeah, I just tried to build up a conversation while he's gone. But then... So, were you guys just sitting here silently while I was no. in the other room? We were no. talking the whole time. He okay. just disappeared. Just, just making sure. Just he just disappeared. Stinker. He did. He disappeared just before you came. Okay. Pause. On that. <coughs> this Monster is cat. The last thing I wanted to talk about. The last thing. Well, what's what, what did you want to talk about before that? While we wait for Highway to come back. No, that's the last thing I have written down. Okay. Oh, uh, to talk about the lyrics. Yes. Okay. God, you are like Highway 2.0, aren't you? No. Yes. Probably. Not. In some aspects, maybe. I will concede I that. Know. I think Lizzie's more similar to me than anybody. Except... Why is that? <coughs> huh? Warum das so Why do you think that exactly? Because. Das solltest du dir doch wohl besser selbst erklären können, du stinkmorche. <lacht> Lizzie, want to uh, tell us what you just said? It's better if I say nothing. <sighs> I guess the only thing we can do is just kind of leave that to the, uh, leave that up to imagination, I guess. <laughs> it's just not <laughs> going right? I just insulted you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, me? Yes. <laughs> wow. I think you made Gamer proud. I think so. <laughs> See what I mean? She's just like me. Oh. Uh. But I always insult you in German so you don't understand. Yeah, well, I could have understand have, eventually. I could also have said you are the beautifulest unicorn in the world and you wouldn't know. Unicorn? That was a joke. A, a, a unicorn? You used a- okay. No, it was a joke! No, it fucker. was a unicorn. Du bist ein Einhorn, du Arschkopf. Okay. I won't bet that was an insult. Yeah, I das war eine Beleidigung. Yes, it was an insult. I think you're, ah. <laughs> you're making Sooner mad. I usually never get mad text. if people insult me. I usually never get too pissed off about it. Yeah, you just, just sit there and accept the fact that you're a retard. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much accept it because it's just reasons. I'm just like, it's not worth... I'm just like too lazy to get mad at worse. I'm just like, eh, eh You're whatever. too lazy to get yeah. mad. Okay. That, that is reasonable. Try calling Lizzie a dongus and see what happens. <laughs> Go ahead, you do, do that? Do it, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, did you do it? No, go ahead, do Wait, it. Go ahead, right now. No, 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 listen, no, listen. When Lizzie, it's planned, it doesn't make sense. Sooner, sooner. Wait, what, what, what? Go ahead. You're a dongus, Lizzie. <laughs> dongus, Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> I would not get that because it was planned. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will I will always call him an idiot when he calls me a jungle, so that's nothing special actually. Yeah. That's 
amazing. 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 Fuck. Are you back, fam? Are you back? Fuck? Finally! Finally! Uh, I got my phone calls all at frickin' once. Anyway. I thought you, like, now, got attacked by a yeti or something. Fuck. Hey, a yeti? You know, if, you know if anything happened to me, I got hit by a bus or attacked by clowns, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? I think, I oh think my God. something has died. Highway, highway. I was going through my pictures on my phone, like from my old phone, like they're all in one folder, and I found a screenshot I took of you telling me what was going on with the clowns at your school. <laughs> you're like, you're like, <laughs> you're like, you're like, yeah, so a whole bunch of students, like a pack of 300 students just went clown hunting with baseball bats and mace. <laughs> If you don't believe me, there is footage from that night on Twitter. You can look really? It. It's hilarious. Really? Oh my god! It, it shows hundreds of students just running down the street with baseball bats. It's great. That's oh my god! I don't amazing. have Twitter. Thank you. I, I don't have Twitter. Uh, I don't find sure, it, but I can still post find it. Me now. Find it and send it to me. I need it. Just, just Google. Uh, I don't know, like, just try to Google JMU clowns, and it'll probably come up. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me oh just pick up. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna put it, was, it at the beginning of the video. It was a crazy video. night. I'm gonna put it at the beginning of the video so people just say, what the fuck. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to reading wait, the Wait, 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 wait. How groups yes. of students are trying to find creep fight creepy clown epidemic. <laughs> So, yep. wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, I found it! <laughs> <laughs> told you. I told you. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, highway, highway, highway. Look at this. Is this... Go, found it. No, no, no. Is, it, is, this, is this the, uh, is that the one? Uh, let me see. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe there's footage of it. That's awesome. I love how we win. Let's go back talk about Ruby and then you do Cisco Gamer. Found it! <laughs> Holy shit, <Gamer>. that's it. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that's the stadium. <laughs> yup. <laughs> that's it. Well, I know what I'm putting at the beginning of the that, video. That's, like a, that's just like a compilation of all the different videos. <laughs> should I- wait, wait, wait. No, should, like... I, should I take the intro song? Should I take the intro song? And add it to that. With... Yeah. And add it to like, that. Imagine that. Imagine those people with baseball bats running like uh, black sun shipping. Those are bumble the bats are like bumblebee shippers. It's just like they're just marching around to like fucking like rooster Although, or some shit. Although technically the bumblebee shippers have one up on black sun because of bumblebee the song. So. Uh, Lizzie, <laughs> um, which is sooner... fan service done wrong? If you ask sooner me. just said something yes. stupid. I yeah. think you know what to do. I think Bumblebee is uh, overhyped, so I don't like Bumblebee anymore because of the fans. Any it's better. like I like the song; it's a nice enough song. No, but I'm not. I'm not too big a fan of the ship. I don't. I don't like the song, and I would like the sh uh, ship if it wasn't so overhyped. Now, when the ship yeah. is actually done in the series, I wouldn't like it. I mean, right now in the series, they're leaning more towards Black Sun, anyways. So yes. We'll see how that plays out. Though I want to see something nah, different. Like I don't. I want, don't want to see Black Sun or uh, or Bumblebee. No, yeah, it's like if Black Sun happens, those people with bats are marching straight to Rooster Teeth. Yup. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so yeah, while all that was going on, I was safely locked in my dorm on the third floor. <laughs> <laughs> what is that noise? Gamer, what is that? Gamer? That's Squidward's Sorry, reaction back. to Bumblebee. I think he may be gagging. No, that's Squidward's reaction to Bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so... that was that when he had that thing like when he had like a clarinet stuck in his throat. It's a cl or it's something. a fork highway. Or a fork. <laughs> hey, there have been moments oh, when he had right. a clarinet stuck in his throat. Okay, gamer. Gamer, anyways. gamer, gamer. Uh, anyways, let's I think you should, should go track. now. Actually, freaking look at the lyrics. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Damn. Lizzie, take <laughs> All right. Anyways. All right. So ah! the first part of this. Bye. The first part of the song. <laughs> uh, <laughs>
when he was kind of like calm right before the, the fight, uh, this is what it says. It starts with the unexpected loss of something dear. The warmth that comforted and cradles just disappears. And in its place, there's nothing, just an endless empty hole. The light that showed the way is gone and darkness takes control. Bitterness and anger are quick to fill the void. The path to isolation is made with the dreams that they destroy. So, yeah. Very positive. <laughs> so, That's very uplifting. Quite uplifting. The question well, is... Which she, What's the who, loss? What is the loss and who is she talking about? No. Because she says um, this thing, uh, the hole is filled with anger and all this shit. But yeah. um, she does not seem angry. Mm. Yeah, and it's also worthy to know that it says something, not someone. Yes. So, I mean, if, if we're looking at this from the perspective, like, this is where she currently is in the story, and not where she was, where this is taking place, it could be the loss of her heiress title. Because, yes. I mean, I don't that, think... that heiress title meant a lot yeah. to her. It was what she was striving for. You know, her big goal was to, you know, make the, the Schnee family better, to reclaim it, but now that's been taken away from her, and... She's already bitter and angry at her father, so that could probably fill that hole if we're looking at it that way. Yeah, but yeah. it's like, I have like just a crazy idea and I really don't know <laughs> Lizzie gets on to me for it. I, it's like, I was thinking about that for a minute, I was thinking, what about like, Beacon or her team or something? Yes. Could like, all, it's... that could also be it. Beacon was also a big part of her goal. She, yes. We know she specifically wanted to go to the Beacon, and we know that she held her team in very high regard, especially towards the end of all <laughs> three. So yeah, but we still don't know also... exactly, <laughs> unless I'm forgetting something, we still don't exactly know why uh, Weiss chose Beacon over what's an Atlas. I forgot what's an Atlas. So, um, it's so, Atlas. so... <laughs> oh, it's just so Atlas? At, at, Atlas is an Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> it used to, I mean, the country used to be Mantle, but then it got relocated yeah, it's like I to know the about that, but central city of Atlas used. and blah, blah, blah. It used to be Nazi Germany, and then Hitler fell, and now it's just Germany. What the fuck? <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, probably. Yeah, but I'm it, it, I'm... Was, it was called Das Deutsche Reich before Germany. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm still kind of curious as to why Weiss chose Beacon. Um... Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping we get an answer to that. Mm -hmm. I mean, assumably just because the person she is, she looked at it and decided like, hey, these, you know, these are the teachers because White Rose or the program is that I want. I think I think it was maybe because first thing it lay in the middle, second thing because a Mistral is um, bound to Atlas, b Vacuo is like lazy as fuck. True. Yeah, Vacuo is full of thieves. Yeah, Atlas, yeah. Atlas and Mistral are real tight with trade and relations, so you know she wouldn't exactly be able to get away from her father when you look at it. And, Until the following I mean, beacon. Can, can you honestly blame Atlas? Why is being in the place with... where Sun came from? No. <laughs> can you honestly picture that? <laughs> no. So, didn't, wait, so didn't yeah, I suppose again? yeah, with the way Lizzie laid it out, it does make sense for Beacon. Where does Neptune? Come I mean, we know she like definitely didn't want to go to Atlas because. You know, she wants to be able to be the father, so. Uh, so I think maybe it is actually something that is, um, from her past, like, uh, maybe how about that song is not, like, um, really actual, like, it was before Mirror Mirror. Was yeah, not it's like, there canon. are two possibilities. It could be, this takes place when the flashback is happening, that means before the first Mirror Mirror. Or it could take place where she is now, as in after this life is mine. Yeah. Yes. I want to say it after, judging it's... by the whole um, taking no. away. No, say. Doctor, but maybe? then again, if you're if you're looking at this life as mine, uh, the, when this song was played, it was basically well, when the song is played in the show, it was just before her heiress title was taken away. Are we but then to... again, it was also immediately after that she finally became determined to leave. So, but, this life is mine seems to be kind of the wisest kind of, you know, fuck you as she leaves. It looks like we're building I want the Zelda to... timeline right now. So, I, I, I would yeah, love... Was... Go ahead. I would ahead. love to refer to the last um, line again, because that is a very good line. Because yeah, if you see that whole song, like, with the last line, then um, couldn't it be that 
it was before Miro Miro because actually she wouldn't cry for the Miro's help after she uh, said she doesn't need the Miro anymore. She she literally says she's breaking the mirror and yes. this life is mine. Yeah. Again, oh, is she could, really? That could also, yeah. Um, oh, let's no. see here. I'm shattering the mirror that kept me uh, split in pieces, which stood between my mind and my heart. I don't what? think she went back to that stage. So yeah, it's hard. To, it would be kind of interesting that like after she thought she had moved on, she finds herself crawling back. But it does seem more fitting and more similar to where she was at the beginning in the first Mirror Mirror. You know what I want? Mm. But mm. the case could be made either way. What is it? Just, uh, the, yeah. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. So, yeah. A lot of questions as to when the song takes place. And honestly, it could work either way. I guess we'll just see where she is in Volume 5 till we, so we can get our full answer. Yay. Yeah. Anyway, the second part of the song is when it picks up pace, you know, during the fight when she's actually showing what she can do. You know, the the last line isn't going to be the last line when the soundtrack's released. It's just going to be like... Yes. It, it very oh my well god, it's a mail actually. truck! It actually could be. Well, first of all, what? the first Mirror Mirror was featured in its entirety in uh, the white trailer. Dude. Mail trucks are yes. my favorite kind of truck because they delivered all of my Ruby figurines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I think the last line, it could actually really be the last line because it is actually split in three pieces. Maybe it was like the beginning, but then they cut boom. a piece out, and then the middle part, and then they cut a piece out, and then the end. Yeah, one thing that's actually really cool, uh, if we're looking at it like this is the whole song, it does share a lot more similarities to the first Mirror Mirror than anything so, else. Let's call because it Mirror the other Mirror. Ones, Mirror Mirror Part 2. Because the thing is, Mirror Mirror Part 2, This Life is Mine, and, um, what was it? It's My Turn. They all had specific verses and chorus of, choruses that they alternated between, but yeah. the first Mirror Mirror was just straight through. So we should call it, it the Mirror Mirror be Prologue, because, you know. Oh, and, it's and, mirror, and mirror, one mirror, thing zero. that I noticed. Yes. And yeah. maybe, um, it is also symbolized with that first, uh, this um, lets Mirror Mirror Part Zero plays, and after that, the mirror, um, uh, the melody from Mirror Mirror plays. Yeah, the, from the very start of the first Mirror Mirror, so it could be hinting that this is before Mirror Mirror. It's funny listening mm -hmm. to you try to pronounce ours. I'm sorry. Thankfully, I'm not wearing my retainer right now, so you don't have to listen to me butcher shit. <laughs> Highway, nobody cares that you have a retainer, okay? I guarantee you that our viewers look at you like 50% less now. Like, <laughs> I really don't give a shit. <laughs> anyway, a whole bunch of viewers anyway. How are videos doing anyway? Let's see. Uh, I mean, our our high, our highest rated video was still the very first volume four discussion video. So that was that was yeah. Maybe, that was massive. Maybe that because was crazy, everybody dude. Was I can't hyped. believe I can't believe that kicked off like that. Yeah. Damn, I mean, Lizzie, it, you're fucking. I mean, it's been downhill from there. But your fucking final hour <laughs> AMV has a hundred views. Yeah, that AMV is going really well. Oh, I knew it was good. You also because have a I'm special. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. hey, it was well put together. I can't blame it. Wow, you're and... actually surpassing Wicked on view count right now. <laughs> oh oh damn. my god! And Wicked is the exclusive AMV guy. Yeah, my last oh one. Oh my god! Uh, got 128 views. Yeah. Why does so, why, yeah. wait, 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 why does Lizzie's channel introduction have less views than all of her other videos? It's like the people probably like they're like, who the fuck is Lizzie? <laughs> Ooh, the because they haven't Lizzie. even watched this, they're just probably like, who the fuck is Lizzie? It's like, oh, that's an introduction, and then like forty three of the people are like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Uh. All right, so back to the song then. Alright, the yes. second part of the song is really more, also more in line with the whole who am I theme going on in this one. Um, right. So, the lyrics for the second part go, um, let's hear, 
The cold seems to grow in my soul. It's consuming me. Confused, I'm losing myself in the storm. Growing jaded, being pushed, being pulled, I'm unraveling. Can't find myself when I'm constantly forced to conform. Enemies surround me, but the worst appear as friends. Liars and pretenders only seem to reach their ends. You know, Every day highway. is breaking right before my eyes. Looking in the mirror, I see someone I hardly recognize. You know what, Highway? Listening to you read those lyrics is filling my brain with a weird black paste, and I don't like it. Well, I'm done I, I actually that part like now. it. So, um, I think that actually too fits our mirror mirror before theme. Yeah. Um, what was that? <laughs> but I, I, I just wonder if she's talking about um, like false friends, and I just wonder who she could mean by that. Let's talk about false yeah. friends. Let's talk about wicked. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Burn wicked. Oh man. Oh, right, right, so that yeah, poor the bastard. The worst appear as friends. So, I mean, if we're going with the whole, this is before the first Mirror Mirror, Whitley hasn't shown his true colors yet, so it couldn't be him. Um, it could, it shouldn't be her father, because she seems to have this resentment for a really long She grew up with Whitley, dude, he probably, shows, there. he probably showed his full his true colors, like, a long time ago. Like, he, she fucking grew up with this bitch, so. But... Yeah, but he, you also have to know that Y said that he changed this in volume four. Oh, true. But... Like, you seem different. But, um, what if she actually meant, uh, Winter? If Winter mm -hmm. isn't uh, that good person we make her out to be. But she also seems to hold a lot of respect for Winter. Yes, that's Especially true. since, you know, when she first came, when her ship arrived in volume three, chapter two... She was like, oh, she was like, she's here. Oh my god! And then she basically ran out to the dock yeah. and was like, Oh my god, Winter! I'm so excited to see you. Yes, but I, I just hope Winter is not evil. Yeah, I, I assume, assume there's not, more to Winter's I character mean, than we know, but they seem very close. So I would assume yes. that Winter is not evil. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I'd assume that Winter was kind of another one of the only places of support that she had in her original life other than Klein. Yeah, well, Klein, <laughs> because Klein, Klein Winter is, is Weiss's true best. family. Nah. Klein and Winter is <laughs> Weiss's true family. Klein is yeah. Weiss's real I, dad. I actually, I best. just hope nothing happens to Klein. Because oh, Klein something's gonna her... happen to Klein. Yes, and I'm oh, yeah, so he... damn worried. I oh, like yeah, he Klein. helped her escape. Jock is not going to be happy about that if he well, finds Jock out. Well, Jock doesn't have to know. No, if well, he finds out. Knows at some point. If he, well, he's going to realize that, you know, Weiss got away. Who's the one that helped her escape? Who's the only one who is actually on Weiss's side in this entire house? That would be Klein. You know what I think? I think... He could also suspect Ironwood had something to do with it, too, but who knows. Jock's going to go don't, to Klein. He's going to be like... Do you know, you know where Weiss went? And then suddenly you're gonna hear Lizzie's voice going, um. <laughs> I will not go, um. But you just did, so congratulations, I'm putting it in. No! <laughs> you gotta play, Lizzie, that's not on any of us. Um... Yeah, there, there's no stopping it now. <laughs> no stopping. <laughs> So uh, I just, I just hope the best for Klein. I don't want him to see him die. I don't yeah, think he's gonna really... die. He's probably gonna get locked in the dungeon. But... I, I, I think he's gonna die. No, he's gonna he get locked. Stinker, he quick! Oh well my God, could. Stinker, Stinker, stop! I, I, I stop. really think he's gonna Stinker, die. Stinker, stop! Yeah, what am I just saying? It's hard to say what's going to happen yeah, to fucking Klein. Cut all of them. But he's probably just just like, probably gonna throw him in prison. Die. Like the worst. I mean, with his I influence, he could. <laughs> I, I don't think Jacques is gonna do anything hasty to Klein, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. Jacques's kind of a loose cannon, so. Uh, it's true. He's also refined and fancy, so I don't think he wants to afford getting blood on his suit. At this point, true. I don't think he really gives a damn. <laughs> mm, <laughs> he could probably he afford like a million more of those, and that's probably not even pocket change. I don't know. I mean, cartoon characters seem to have this weird thing about wearing the same outfit throughout the entire series. So, I mean, he probably only needs like one. 
Yeah. Well, Ruby, Ruby has kind of done them, kind of hasn't. To be fair. Nobody has, dude. Okay, this is this is their out. This I is mean, the extent. They, had, this is the extent of their the wardrobe change. Listen to this. This is the extent of their wardrobe change. Volume ones through volumes one through three, they're your normal outfits. Then there's the that one time they changed their outfits for that fucking special mission. Then there's pajamas, two, and then there's volume four, and then there's volume four, and that's it. I said kind of the kind of nine, to be fair. I mean, honestly, Ruby has uh, got they... a, done a little bit better with the wardrobe changes. But... Compared to some other I mean, shit. Not as good as... I mean, not as varied as some other ones are, but honestly, it doesn't have to. It's, but it's, it's we have to keep in mind, John doesn't have any other pullovers. <laughs> what? He, he has that one hoodie that he loves, and he is going to keep it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, he better keep that shit. That's funny. After what? all... We don't have to grow out of everything. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Ren. Thank you. <laughs> There's some things we just refuse to grow out of. Yep. One of them is my childhood. And bunnies. And bunnies. We all yes. love bunnies. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Stinker eats bunnies. Then fuck okay. Stinker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. We're going on for an hour and, and two minutes, so we should probably. Anyways, so time. yeah, that middle part of the song definitely seems to fit more with the whole beginning thing, but it could also be her questions of like, you know, where she's going, who is she at the at the end of volume four, so we'll see. Yeah. Anyway, the last part is the shortest of all of them, is when she's getting the shit kicked out of her. And that it talk and it's the one that easily talks the most about the mirror. I laughed the whole time. So the lyrics for the last one is, Mirror, what's this thing I see? Who is staring back at me? A stranger to my heart has filled my mind. Mirror, help me. Who am I? Read the second line again. No, don't do it again. Do um, it again. Um, let's hear it. I mean, a stranger to my heart has filled my mind. Oh. Uh, so so she, it's probably she, someone it, she doesn't know? No, no, no. I think it's actually it's, uh, that she is like... She like, is someone who she doesn't want to be. Yeah, she feels like she isn't herself. Like, someone she doesn't want to be, but it is her. Why is that's so all, she that, is... that also relates yeah. back to in the previous part when she said, looking in the mirror, I see someone I hardly recognize. I feel like mm. Weiss is really, like, dumb and overdramatic. Like, um, like, it's like, it's like, just... Me volume one, Weiss? It's like, just, just stop. <laughs> it's like, it's like, just... Do I mean, she doesn't, have, she <laughs> like, doesn't but... have the most uh, advantageous family situation at home. I oh, think yeah, I, I think it's like, really hard for her, and that's why she expresses her feelings with uh, a song. Of course, it is slightly overdramatic, but it's just like people uh, tend to recognize those um, strong emotions as really strong emotions, so they over-exaggerate them. Yeah, and if you want to talk about over dramatic, just look at some Blake songs. So I don't want to hear it. <laughs> well, Blake songs actually make sense. I mean, but like I don't know. I mean, Daddy Issues is kind of going a little far on that. <laughs> well, it well with Weiss, it's not just Daddy Issues. It's like everything. For one, her dad is you know over overbearing, o controlling, and manipulative. Her mom is tempted <laughs> to be an alcoholic and barely around. Actually, by the way, uh, speaking of that, Winter, uh, like... Winter, the her sister that she highly looks up to, is always away on missions, and it probably her father tries to keep her away from her as much as possible. Her brother is a manipulative, conniving, scheming little shit. <laughs> Maybe sociopath. And the only and the only one at her home that actually gives a shit about her and cares for her like her an actual is child the is Klein, is the fucking butler. <laughs> Butler so you cool. have. Actually, by she, the way, you She does not have the best family situation. <laughs> yeah, if, if I may, if I may talk about Weiss's mom for a minute, if I may, mm -hmm. you yeah. would have been like more accurate for Whitley to say when she when he was talking about uh, Weiss's mom. What? She, he should he should have said, um, "Mother's getting hammered in the garden." <laughs> <laughs> Instead of, hmm, no, she's already drinking in the garden. She's getting hammered as. <laughs> she's getting hammered as. But. 
So yeah, uh. I, I think a, I think a lot. Her confusion is pretty justified. Also, not to mention that her family has basically been at war with the White Fang, and she's seen close family friends and administrators in the company get killed. That's so a war as an actual bloodshed. As an actual bloodshed, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, she's not had the best childhood. <laughs> Have you ever like we we kind okay. of picked up on that in volume one? No, no. Yeah, she may not have had the most luxurious lifestyle. Like she she lived she lived in luxury. She was rich, but it wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Yeah, that's why I said it's not at, like all the luxurious hell. There must be like a Gamer? lesson in that. Just be like, you know, money doesn't equal happiness. I wonder if there's like a lesson in life. I think so. Mm, maybe. But you also have to remember yeah. her uh, her grandfather, the one that originally started the company, was also, you know, he's the one that got a the fucker. millions a of, fucker. of dollars <laughs> and the fortune. He was described as actually a really good guy. It was Jacques. Yeah, it's he was not Jacques even part that's of his family. He just kind of pushed himself into it because he wanted it. Wait, 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 wait! Wasn't her grandfather like? Didn't somebody build up this whole thing, and then her grandfather just like stole it? Or no, her, no, her gra her grandfather is the one that actually started the Schneeders company. Oh. The one that kind of, you know, went into the family, kind of took it for himself. Was Jacques because he he wasn't even born into the Schnee line. He's not actually a you know blood related Schnee. But he still is an um, asshole like one, so. But yeah, if you look at the. Oh, Schnee Dust Company, World of Remnant, it actually describes Weiss's grandfather as a pretty swell guy. Because, well, he was also a huntsman. And it's, for an example, when his crew would go on expedition to get dust, he would actually personally oversee the mission to make sure that it made it back safe. Because, hey, you know, that's just the kind of guy he was. Do you remember just... that time when I told you, I'm like. Hey, Highway, so, um, Volume 4 is starting here pretty soon. You want to start a Ruby channel with me? And you're like, and I'm like, I don't care what you think. We're starting a Ruby channel. Yeah, yeah right. I was pretty much sure. Why the fuck not? Yes. And then Petey was just like, okay. <laughs> he was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And then Wicked <laughs> came along, he's like, yeah, sure, I'll do what you tell me to. And then he started uploading AMBs. I'm like, you're going to join a discussion? No, no, I'm busy right now. It's like, okay, well... Uh, Fuck you. Well, I have one thing that I still can't uh, grasp about the Rice family. The Rice it's family? <laughs> about the Rice family. The Rice Rice's family. The Rice <laughs> family? <laughs> I'm sorry. Gamer's not gonna let that go. Nah, no, no, he's uh, not. Uh, Just for a little bit. You have five seconds. Uh, Trust me, he he will not let. You that have five go. seconds. Go. Um. Why does only females have um and semblance? Eh, semblance. The old glyph thing. The glyph well, semblance. the well that the semblance kind of has to be unlocked through training. So I'd assume that since they said it's hereditary, that would also in imply that her grandfather, who was a huntsman, also had it. But nobody else in her family. Wait, I got it. Were trained to be a, hunts a huntsman. I got it. Huntress. I know so. what it is. I know what it is. It's because um, the grandfather, like, he's like, yeah, he started the company or whatever. It's hereditary, right? Weiss and Winter are, um, well, they kind of look like their mom, right? Um, mm -hmm. And then Whitley over here being a fucking asshole looks like his dad a little bit more. Um, yeah. So if Jacques was married into the family, he doesn't have the semblance, and maybe that carried over to Whitley as well, and only Weiss and mm. Winter have it. Well, the thing is, you have to remember, Whitley still has Schnee blood in him, and well, yeah, but he's a fucking also, asshole. So you also I mean. have to remember that Weiss and Winter are also half Jacques, so they all have the pre pretty similar genetic makeup. Well, yeah, so but don't you think it was like a fifty-fifty chance of whether you get it or not, and Weiss and Winter just happened to get it? No, it seems that they said it's a genetic thing, and we. Let's haven't bring seen up any a Punnett Square Highway. We haven't we haven't seen any <laughs> example. No, 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 no. And, oh yeah. By the way, if it's a dominant gene, then it'll be a three fourths chance. So fuck you. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> oh, you know I... what? Highway. Anyways, I needed you. The thing is, semblances God have to be it, unlocked highway. through training. Whitley yeah, is highway. not interested in fighting, so he has no reason to unlock it. Well, he's a fucking. That cunt. makes actually sense. 
That makes actually sense. I mean, hey, think of it. I mean, that look, actually everybody in the world of Remnant has an aura, but only but... Huntsman and Huntresses train to control it, which is where a semblance comes from. Hey, Highway. But I just wonder why did, um, why say then, um, <laughs> um, are you, um, are you a cut? I, I forgot the word. Um, she said Whitley has not, ins it doesn't have a semblance. I, I, I found that weird that she would say it that way. Well, yeah, like, like I said, <laughs> he hasn't trained to unlock one. If he did, he'd probably be able to use the glyphs just like everybody else. John but he has no reason to or desire to, so he doesn't. As of now, Jean doesn't have a semblance either, so... Yeah, but he's also unlocked his aura and he's working on it, and it has been hinted as to what his semblance is in the past. We have gotten confirmation that his fight with Cardin back in Volume 1 was a hint as to what his semblance is. And hey. I, I, it seemed like it had, uh, it was um, activated it's by itself, so I'm not sure if you actually have to unlock it by training. For example, with Crow, it's like naturally there. Well, yeah, true. But you, but you also have to be able to control, because it is the physical manifestation oh, of the shit. aura. If it by was way, always on all the time, then Ruby would be speeding around every single time without being able to control it. Boy, so um. Boy. Chibi apparently has confirmed that yes, Crow does indeed shapeshift. Yes. Sweet. 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 Uh, no, wait, wait, I mean, wait, I mean wait, that was wait, pretty, wait. the pre safe bet in volume four that that was a thing, so that's wait, why I was wait, too wait, wait, loud. Wait, wait, wait. I even said that, you know, it was probably a thing, but that, that's cool. Yeah. Wait, but... wait, 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 wait. But I would not say that Chibi can confirm anything. I it mean... is kind of non canon. It is definitely non-canon. I mean, Kira and stuff. I I believe and I believe Roman. that I I believe he can shape shift, but I wouldn't say that she confirmed it actually. Archmage Cadgar can shape shift, and he's a fucking mage. One, I mean, it definitely adds one more evidence but I, to the pile. A very strong piece of evidence at that, but I actually don't like that he can shape shift. I, yeah, that does seem a bit like okay. He's not just this special snowflake. Oh, I can shapeshift without it being my semblance. Look at me. Lizzie, no. you like birds. Shut up. Yes, I like no, birds, actually, but I don't no. like illogical birds. <laughs> now, this could be interesting. This could actually be an interesting thing because there also has been discussion of whether Raven can turn into a bird or not. And There's also been case, discussion maybe it, maybe that this discussion needs to end soon because it's been an hour and 13 minutes. What, and what, maybe what it's thing? been a specific technique of the bandit clan that they both came from. So maybe. Yes. And one thing, uh, do you know who it was that watched Yang in the first trailer? In the what Yang the trailer? fuck is that noise? Repeat that. Um. Who was it that watched Yang in her trailer? Who that watched Yang in her trailer? The yellow yes. trailer? In the in the beginning of the yellow trailer there was uh some kind of wave knock pro. What? Okay. Uh, yep, that sound is indeed sooner. I checked. Alright, what? No, um, wait. No, stop. no, it's highway. Well, the, only the only other highway, highway that's you! What? What stop. the fuck? That little that little noise that that's you. Okay. I looked at the shit and it's you. Okay. But yeah, can I mention something about post? Um, um no, we should minute. probably end it in like like really like If he has <laughs> something to say, just let him say it real quick. <clears throat> Fine. It's just the way when Yo and Crow was talking about his semblance and he was talking about it's always there. I always thought the fact that the fact that he transforms into a crow, I thought that it just kind of happened at random, to be honest. Oh my god, Lizzie! Just from the way you worded it. No, Lizzie. he seems to no. control it. Lizzie, he seems say, to be able to control that. say something mean to Sooner in German, please. Well, what? granted, that's why I first watched it. I'm looking back, I mean, yeah, sure, he obviously... Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Oh, it just, oh, wait, I can't wait, control Suna. when I turn into a bird. Yeah, that, that, that'd that be really good for my fighting, yeah. Wait, that, Suna. That'd be fucking... Du bist ein scheiß Idiot. Wie konntest du nur denken, dass sowas möglich ist? Das, es hat doch klare Indizien dagegen, du scheiß Wichser. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> do you do you know that doesn't English. penetrate me, right? Even if you said in English, I really wouldn't I give know, a shit I know, but it's said. funny! That's why we do it. Can we end the episode now? Alright, anything else you want to see if you want to say about the character short? Nope. 
It was oh, really the fight scene was kick ass. No. It was the really great. I... I liked it. Yeah. I'm just gonna say if the rest of Volume Five looks as great as this one did with a bit more polishing, then it's gonna be awesome. I also kind of hope we see other character shorts. Oh, we are. Rooster Teeth has come out and said that we are getting them. So yeah, okay. I assume we would get one for Blake and Yang. Oh yeah. No I'd Ruby, I don't think. I don't think Ruby's getting Blake. one. I mean, Ruby already got one with Volume Four, and they skipped straight to Weiss this time, so I'm assuming not. <laughs> Yeah, okay. You Judging by the means. general order of things, the next is Blake. You know what that means, oh, though? You I know how I used to that. make uh, those AMVs based on the trailers? Now I can use new trailers. That'd be great. Sweet. Ow. Sweet. Well, Highway injured himself and probably broke his neck, so we should probably end it now. So, yes. Um, Highway, before you die, can you, like, do the outro, please? All right, then. <laughs> so... Yeah, I guess, I guess fun. just closing words, this trailer was really fun, had a lot of nice little opportunities to analyze, and I think we went on quite long enough on it. So, with that being said, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want to, and I guess we'll see you all later. Yeah, cunts.